and Audrey in the morning, afternoon, or evening, or whenever we decide to film this. Hi, I'm Kate. And I'm Audrey. And this, this is, is our podcast. Yeah. In, in the, the streets, streets with, with Kate, Kate and, and Audrey. Audrey. I always forget our name. <laughs> Every single time. Every time I keep wanting to say, uh, and I'm Kate, but I'm not Kate. <laughs> One of these days we're going to throw them all off. <laughs> Anyways, we have a very special guest joining us today. Holly! Yeah! Holly. Hi. <laughs> where are you uh where are you from? Um the lower mainland. Nice. So where quote that? unquote Vancouver, <laughs> but not Vancouver. I see, I see. Oh, you know. I mean, what's your favorite color? Um green. Green. That's yeah. a good favorite color. Dark green. Yeah, that's a good color. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Audrey um, and I when you say the lower mainland both just panicking like uh, <laughs> <laughs> Us non-Vancouverites, as we learned last episode. <laughs> um, well, shout out to Bella, who's in the room. room. Woo! Yeah. She's giving us a thumbs up. Give us a little thumbs up, a little thumbs up moment. Andrea, <laughs> question for you real quick yeah. before we get rolling here. Where are you from? I am from Limberwisk. Ooh. Yeah. Where's that? It's in, uh, it's in the Atlantic Ocean. It's kind of like near Iceland. <laughs> it's in the Atlantic Ocean? Yeah, it's like an island. Oh, it's an island. Yeah. So it's not in the <laughs> not ocean. In the ocean. <laughs> no, the neighboring city to Atlantis. The yes, city. of course. Exactly. <laughs> Y'all Atlantis watch Black <laughs> Panther too? <laughs> the little fish place. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spoil it. Isn't that what's in the trailer? trailer? It is in the trailer. Oh, that's what's true, that's true, that's true. What's it called? Uh, Talokan, that's what it's called. Yeah, oh, okay. that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. That was very cool. Too much that was very cool. great film. If you're listening and you haven't seen it, go watch it. Recommend. It's a great film. I've been listening to the soundtrack on loop. Specifically the one song that they play. When they introduced Talaka. It's been, uh, like, going over and over and over and over and over. It was a great movie. Lots of twists, lots of turns, lots laughs, of lots tears. Of tears, yes. lots of tears. Lots, lots of, of tears, tears. Lots of laughter, lots of fear. Just emotions. Just, yeah. A yeah. very late night for us, too. Yeah. We went at, like, midnight. <laughs> On a Monday. <laughs> On a Monday evening. <laughs> uh, most of us had three-hour-long classes before that. But we did it anyway. I was not there. You did not, but, but you yeah. saw it I also saw it. And you recommended so, it. I did. Yeah. So, Holly. Yes. Your name is Holly. My name is Holly. And Holly is something that's used to decorate for Christmas. It is. It, it is. Holly Jolly Christmas. Holly Jolly Christmas. Holly Jolly and it's Christmas. a little poisonous berry. We love that. It's oh, good. Ooh. A, little, a, little a little scary <laughs> moment. <It's> also, <laughs> a little Halloween Nightmare callback. Fun fact <laughs> invasive species. Oh, that's oh. true. Geography. Ge- oh, the geography <laughs> babes are back at it again. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot relate. <laughs> Did not take geography. <laughs> it's okay. My dad oh, well. has a geography. No, he doesn't. He- yeah, he does. He has a geography degree. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Shout out That's to so Father neat. Todd. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the. Shout out to Kate's father, Todd. <laughs> yes. Um. Christmas. So, Christmas. 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 Yeah. Christmas is coming up. The holiday season is the upon best us. holiday. The best. Oh, best. Holiday. In my personal opinion, I also opinion. agree that it's the best holiday. I, I, it's my favorite. I just feel like there's more festive things. About yeah. Christmas than there is for any other holiday. Mm, I Plus see. the time off is so good because I actually get to yeah. see a good chunk of my family at Christmas. That's true. Not this year, but most years. Most years. We actually get together, which is nice because there's enough time and usually it lines up with the cousins that were all mm-hmm. off on the yeah, same break. Yeah, that's true. Which never happens. You know, this different province stuff, never on the spring break. Never on it's the It's also long. very cool that... Um, like winter break encompasses not just Christmas but also Hanukkah mm-hmm. and yeah. Kwanzaa and mm-hmm. they like and they New Year is my favorite holiday. I love New Year's. Yeah. <laughs> That's your favorite holiday. That's That's my favorite holiday, New Year's Eve. <laughs> okay, I love New Year's. <laughs> I love that for you. Yeah, <laughs> we don't get to celebrate these holidays together this year. No, no, we do not. That's okay. We're all leaving from the University of University. Yes, That's we are okay. going home to spend time with our families, yeah. whom we have not seen <clears throat> no. in a no. while. Yeah, and we will. Return after New Year's yeah. next will. year. We will stronger, and, and we'll say New Year, New Me. <laughs> <laughs> Prepared for Sem Two. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite Christmas movie? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, weird niche one. Yeah, unaccompanied minors. It's I have this, never seen uh, it. My little oh. brother and I watch it every year. It's like our little our little mini Christmas tradition. Okay. Shout out to Tyler. Okay. He loves the podcast, so I know he's listening. Yeah, um, <laughs> but. We watch it every year, and he's coming to visit pretty soon. He is coming to visit. Watch it. Okay. And um, not to spoil anything for the next episode, <laughs> but uh, you don't get to spin the wheel because Tyler's coming next week. And Darn. He's the next guest. Tyler's okay. Coming to town. <laughs> Tyler's coming to town. Like Santa. Like Santa. He is exactly. bringing me my Santa hat because I 
told him like, I needed something <laughs> for our secret Santa. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite movie? My Audrey? favorite Christmas movie? It's not really a Christmas movie, yeah. but I'm obsessed with the Doctor Who Christmas episodes. Okay. I love okay. them. Um, they make me so happy, and they also scare the bejesus out of me. Okay. So, I would say it's a win-win. My favorite one is the one with the killer snowman. Um, I think of course. that's... I want to say it's the 12th Doctor, I think, but I could be wrong. Ask I, Isaac. Yeah, Isaac, please correct me there. <laughs> I know Clara's in it. The best, no, she's not the best companion, but she's a personal favorite companion of mine. Any of those Doctor Who people out there. Yeah. Anyways, what's your favorite Christmas movie, Holly? It's so basic, but it's the Grinch. Oh, oh that's, that's a but classic. But it has to be the live action one. Cla- Love Jim classic. Carrey. That's a, that's a, that's a classic. Oh my I gosh. I do like the cartoon too, but the live action the, is a personal the, yeah, favorite. Yeah, exactly. The cartoon one's cute. The, the like cartoon one's nice, cute, but the like, live action one's like, it. it's Jim yeah. Carrey, and it's like, yeah. it's so it's funny, fun, and it's yeah. a classic. Exactly. It's just like, you can't have a Christmas without watching the Grinch. I love that part! So, do you guys have any favorite holiday traditions? Uh, <laughs> I don't have any more, like, but I have one from when, like, we were kids. My yeah. family used to always spend Christmas at, like, my grandma and grandpa's house. Oh, yeah. And then we would go to the live Christmas tree farm and we'd, like, cut down a Christmas tree oh, all together. that's so cute. And then we'd, like, the, it was, like, a family-owned business. So, the guy that, like, ran the farm always invited us in for hot chocolate and we, like, played games and stuff. It was really fun. That's it was, like, so we made sweet. a day out of it. And then we'd, like, go home and set up the Christmas tree. And I that's so that. cute. Oh, my gosh. I might cry. That's so Don't cute. Don't cry. Audrey, do you have any? Um, well, in Limberwisk, that's not something that happens, unfortunately, because we don't have many trees. <laughs> <laughs> you get fake ones. All about the, you uh, get fake ones in Limberwisk. Uh, uh, Limberwisk geography. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just because it's so far north that there's, like, it's very difficult. We have a few evergreens, but they're not in a big enough quantity, so a lot of the Christmas trees... Also, are evergreens are massive. <laughs> I know, exactly. You can't, you can't use that yeah. as a Christmas exactly. tree. Exactly, so there's very... There's not... So, yeah... But um, a person, uh, something that's really fun that we do over Christmas in Limberwisk, which is also very popular in Latin America and in Spain, is you take um, 13 grapes, okay. and on oh. New Year's Eve, you eat them as fast as you can in the first minute. Um, it's one grape for each month and then one for the whole year. And if you do it, you get good luck. And if you fail, then you... Then you have to cursed. eat 13 grapes in one minute? Yeah. Were you Easy! The one, were you the much one in our group that was, like, violently searching for grapes earlier this year? Someone was, like, searching for grapes for some reason, and I don't remember why. It was, like, the very beginning of the year, someone in our group, like, needed oh, grapes no, for some sort of tradition. Oh, no, I don't know. It wasn't me. It wasn't I don't me. remember what it was. I love I think grapes. It, was, it might have been, yeah, El and Isaac. Oh, maybe. Because they, there was a important, oh, shh, that was my mom. She's telling me about some job opportunity. Shush! <laughs> Dearest mother, I love you endlessly, <laughs> but we're filming a podcast right now. Oh, my gosh. I also just... Everyone is texting me when I'm not supposed to be on my phone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Tyler's texting me, actually. Shout out to Tyler. <laughs> Shout out to Tyler. He said he'd come to my math class with me. Aww. <laughs> um, and so, yeah. And then another thing that we like to do is that it's kind of on that same stream. It's very popular in Limberwisk, but it's also, it's more of like a Spanish tradition. Because Spa- Spain and Limberwisk have really close ties. So that's kind of why there's a lot of cultural exchange there. Um, but there's something called turon, which is like kind of like a nougat. And it has like, like s- s- things in it. And then you cut it, and it's delicious. I love it. It's another New Year's thing. I really like New Year's. <laughs> I love those New Year's party pop right I thing. I love yeah! that! I them all the time! And, so and, much fun. and the wishbone? Yeah! yeah! The wishbone, and then, like, just... New Year's is really... It's a, it's an underrated holiday. It's like a you party. You have to have right people exactly. to celebrate. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Right Otherwise, it's just with. another night, and you're yeah. just like, ah. But I love those little cheap crowns that you yeah, get in those yeah. party yeah. proper things, and then, like, oh. the little, like, jokes... It's yeah, so funny. Sometimes you get like a whistle or like yeah. a little, yeah. little puzzle. What's your favorite Christmas holiday tradition? I thing? I'm thinking about this. Okay. Because we didn't do like we just did the classic like random Christmas. Well, set it's up still a, tree. a tradition then. But recently, yeah. my little brother and I have been going to my grandpa's house and setting up. He's like a massive Christmas village. Like for the past few years, oh. so he'd be like, I don't want to set anything up. You guys have to come set it up, and we'd be like, okay. So Tyler would make this super thick hot chocolate which is an acquired taste. <laughs> um, it's great, just really thick. <laughs> but he makes it, and then we set up the Christmas village and the tree and all the things, and it's great. Aww. And his dog loves it. And I put his dog on a Christmas ornament last year. 
for the top of the tree. Oh, it's that's great. so cute. Oh, that's another one. My grandma and grandpa always used to give us a new Christmas ornament each year. That's oh, sweet. That's, that's really sweet. sweet. We try and get, um, my family and I, we get, like, different ornaments for all, like, the different places or important things that happen. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to do that. Right? And I'm so, older. like, I started collecting, like, Christmas ornaments. Yeah, like, I got it. Anything else about so, Christmas? I don't know. I don't know. This is your this is uh, I don't know what I don't know what to talk about. Like Well then now we there's can so spin much to the do wheel. with Christmas. Okay. Would you like to spin the wheel now? Yeah, sure. That was yeah, we'll spin we the wheel. We can tell you about your skating extravaganza last night. Oh my gosh. So we thought there was midnight skating, but turns out it was like midnight on like <laughs> there's Wednesday morning. Mid- what? It said Thursday midnight, so we were like, okay, Thursday. Midnight. To Friday. Thursday, Friday, midnight. Yeah. But it was Wednesday to Thursday midnight. Yeah. And that, that kind of makes sense. We just didn't so, analyze the yeah, schedule well enough. Yeah, the schedule well was a little wacky. So then yeah. they, I didn't go, Holly, I didn't go either, but Audrey went with some I of went. our other friends. And they watched old man hockey. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what was there. Did you guys have to walk home? No, we there, had, there was one bus. Okay, there was nice. one, we took the last possible oh, bus. Oh, that's nice. So we were able to make it. Because you didn't stay piece. until one. No, no, no. Yeah. We didn't stay all that long. There was like, no way. They told us that it wasn't going on and that it was yesterday. And we were like, ah. We can go next Wednesday. Exactly. We'll go next Wednesday. We will. It'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah. We will c- all right. conquer this. Should all right. I? Well, yeah. You were next what do to I the click? Wheel. You just click to spin. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right, um, it's what's spinning. it gonna be? Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh, the, the Pet, Pet Rock, Rock Adoption, Adoption Center. Center. <laughs> I didn't add this one. I added. I have this no one. idea what that is. Audrey will explain. <laughs> so basically, my favorite YouTube channel—that's a lie. My fourth favorite YouTube channel um, is this Pet Rock Adoption <laughs> Center, okay. where this like girl. She essentially teaches you how to do self care for your rock, how to make a leash for your rock, how to leave your oh, rock alone. Oh, like pet rock. Ha- yeah, I thought you were saying like pet rock, like oh, music, like oh, rock music. Cool. I was like, so it's like a an adoption center where they just play rock music for the <laughs> animals, like. <laughs> No, no, no. It's like a, a, a like a pet. Like you have rock. It's rock. Pet. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Like I a, was like, that's a bit odd. Do you ever like have that in elementary school? Did people ever I used to put like googly rocks? eyes yeah, on my little yeah, rock. Like, like, yeah, business yeah. yeah. My yes. favorite video that they do is um it's one about how to bathe your rock without drowning it. Of course. <laughs> You have to keep its head above water. Yeah, it's yeah. so funny. I love the pet rock and after <laughs> center. It's my That's favorite so thing. Funny. Let me find it for you. Pet rock. <laughs> Adoption Center. I don't think they've posted in a while, but it's so fun. Um, <laughs> this is very unrelated, but you guys spelled a mortal wrong. You know That's what? Okay. We always spell <laughs> things We spell everything wrong, which is why we're a talking podcast yeah. and not a and visual not a vision, podcast. Yes. How to bathe your rock. There's a lot of topics on our topic list while Audrey's searching for this that um, I don't remember adding ever, but <laughs> they're really funny. So we had to bathe your stone. <laughs> that's like, that reminds me of like how to basic. Bathe, bathe your stone. Yeah, that's very interesting. And it's hilarious. Anyways, so that's... What was the point of you doing that? You showed us and then you pulled it away like literally two <laughs> seconds later. I can't really watch it. <laughs> well, I know, but like I'm just like, what was the point of that? Sit there and watch him. Like it's a fi- it's a 15 minute long video on how to clean your rock. Okay, uh, you link didn't it. have to show it. Yeah, I'll, link it. I'll link it for yeah. this week. So um, link it. Everybody yeah. watch the video on how to how bathe to your rock. Bathe your rock. How to five wash to your rock. Business days. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Five to seven business days to watch it <laughs> until the podcast comes out. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, they wouldn't know that, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's okay. I said that they have five to seven visits days to watch it until this episode comes out. Oh, they, they wouldn't know. know if the, yeah, yeah the right. Is the reward? Yeah. <laughs> the episode hasn't come out yet. Yeah, so of course. That took well, me. A, that took me a second. You better have watched it, <laughs> yeah. or I'm gonna come for you. Yeah, yeah you need I'm to get you. pause the podcast, go watch the video, and come back, back. to the podcast, yeah. and then finish the yes, podcast. Yes, but you have to come back. To the <laughs> yeah, you can't just leave. You can't we leave. don't give you permission. No, 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 no. To that's leave. Not allowed. You could say it's illegal. Yes. I will cancel the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah. but again. Yeah, sure. Oh, that's really all. That was a terrible topic. You just press it. No, it's okay. We we have topics that are just really to fill those thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. Please do something I know. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I don't think I know topic. this one either. Rainy Rodriguez. I was hoping it was gonna be the previous Lord. one. <laughs> what was the previous one? Name vibes. Oh. So we do that one next. 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, we okay. can do that one next. Post Rainy Rodriguez lore. I know you know Rainy Rodriguez. Yeah, know. she's the Austin one who sings LA. that one song. Yeah, Fiesta <laughs> Salsa Quisin. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Basically, Rainy Rodriguez <laughs> is a funny, funny lady because um, basically, people. So she did this thing. She was doing like the Beverly Hills Chihuahuas tour or whatever. Yes. She went to the premiere. She sang her little Fiesta Salsa Quinceanera song. Go listen to it. She really owns Shout out Rainy Country. Really, let's, oh, yeah, let's pull it up. It's pull it really up. short. I love... There's no back music. I love her and her brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he's Her little brother's also... From yeah. Modern from Family. Modern Family. But basically, while well, Audrey Paul's And they're literally song, identical. Yeah. But I had no idea. No, me neither. Because they're just like... Out. They seem like such different, different things. Because it's like, like Disney. Yeah. And, yeah. But it's just like... It makes so much sense. Okay, here we yeah. go, here we go. It's a two hour clip, but okay. Fiesta salsa, quinceanera, baila, siente ritmo, ponte a sonreír, ven conmigo, fiesta salsa. I don't like that it's acapella. It makes <laughs> well, it so much more awkward. Did it on the red carpet. No, I know, but it makes but, it so much yeah. more awkward. But basically, fiesta. she went on the red carpet and did a song. I don't know if this is where it started, but then she became this huge meme, like all yeah. over the internet. She did not I remember like it. Some so celebrities much. play into it. She did not. She was out here blocking people. She was doing all these things. So many people are blocked by her because they would go and comment the little song in her That's comments. So funny. And so she was not a fan. She did it to herself. And also, <laughs> there's just lots of stuff coming from behind the scenes with um, the Austin Alley cast. People really? are convinced that she had a thing with Ross Lynch. Like, Mm-mm. they are convinced like, I that, I've seen so many TikToks on it. And I'm like, oh, this is kind of interesting. I very much doubt that. People are convinced. Ross Lynch I, had something me, with Laura Morano. I'm not convinced. Yeah. But it's really, like, interesting to It is at. very because funny. Because people make good points. Yeah. They make good points. Who is to say he didn't have a thing with both of them? Who's to say? Who's to say? I very hope I was not listen, to I say. was looking at the Glee cast the other day. There's a TikTok on everybody who got with who in the Glee cast. I think a lot of people scenes. got with a lot of people in Leah the Glee Leah Michelle though. was with... Mr. Shu before the show. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. And then that is so funny. And then she dated Corey. So like yeah. that's a whole little thing already there. That is very funny. And then there's all the other things going also, on. Also, fun fact about Glee is in the original like screen right of it, I don't know what it's called for a TV it's, show. Yeah, screen but um Mr. Shu is a math addict. Of course. They took that out of it. <laughs> because but, that's the thing. But that it could fits. Go in the show. It totally fits. <laughs> that whole show, it, we're now we're on a little Glee ca- tangent. I, I know love Holly Glee. Glee. I love Glee, but, and so do yeah, you. <laughs> but, um, uh, it's like, the show is so whack. Have you seen Glee? I've seen a few episodes of Glee, yes. It's I've seen it so three unhinged. times. I've seen it like <laughs> I know, I've, a the, What times. I have seen, it's ridiculous. Well, it's like, there's this so one country funny. cover of that one song. And it kills me every time. Let me find it for you. <laughs> I am baffled that half of the jokes e- were even allowed to air no. at that time. Yeah. Like, if that show tried to air today, no. No, <laughs> it's no so bad. Way. No way, Everything Jose. Sue Sylvester says. Sue Sylvester is, like... She's so funny. She's so offensive. And what I've seen... No, like, she's, everything oh, she, she a, says I've, is offensive in one way or another. Yeah, no. Everything she says. I have not seen enough to know. <laughs> she, it is so funny. her character funny. is really funny and iconic. Don't you worry, Audrey. Okay. Her, character her character is probably is, my favorite. the actress isn't? No, the actress is great. No, we love the actress. Okay, the she's so been in lots of things. The character's funny, but just says the it's most like, offensive things. Oh, yeah, sometimes. it's like funny, but offensive. Actually, okay, so most of the time. A lot most of, of the things the she says. Most of stuff is not funny, but some of it is. But, like, not in, like, a, an offensive way, just in the context to which she said it. Like, yeah, she, like, exactly. Like, a certain teacher. If you take it, it out funny. of context, it's bad. It's really awful. But if it's in context, you, like, you understand her character. And, like... Yeah. Her, her whole thing is... Because the whole show is satire. It. Yeah. <laughs> Play it. Wait, is it actually? Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a satire. Tonight, it's a satire. Tonight, you other brothers can't deny <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> they really, I saw that. They really did like, and I was like, I was like oh my every gosh. Every week, the Glee Club. <laughs> the way they really changed. But yeah, the show is <laughs> is supposed to be completely satirical. That's why it's so unhinged. I did wow. not know that. Yeah, no. I thought it was serious. No. <laughs> that makes it better, I watched though. it three times thinking it was serious. No, it's, it's complete <laughs> satire, which is great. Um, and I think actually Glee cleverly did the, the whole satire thing. No, it's so funny. It's 
and it, and they do poke fun at so many different things. It's mm-hmm. really funny. Like every single high school stereotype is made fun of. In that exactly, show, and it's so funny. Great show. Well, yeah, and um, yeah, entertaining show. Leah entertaining Michelle show. can't read. Yeah, Leah so Michelle. That's apparently cool. Can't read. Have you heard that? I have heard that. Leah I have Michelle heard that read. Leah Michelle apparently cannot read. She was in Spring Awakening. She was in the original cast of Spring Awakening. Did you yeah. know that? Yeah. Yeah, and um, and she just John, got Jonathan Groff, Groff was also yeah. the original cast oh, of Spring Awakening. Oh, I love Awakening. Jonathan Groff. Yeah, she's gonna say Spring Awakening. <laughs> I love Jonathan Groff. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. not in it anymore, but it's no. a good show. Yeah. It's a good show. He's in the soundtrack, if you mm-hmm. give, give it a listen. He's also in the soundtrack of Hamilton. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's in the soundtrack of and a lot of Frozen. things. And Frozen. Yes. And he oh was my in, gosh. I think he was in, no. Glee. He and Glee, Glee, of course. The is? most, yeah, the he most was, iconic. He was in Glee. What? He was he one was, of the villains. He was the opposing team. He and was like, the, he was like the the bad guy yeah. high school. Oh. Like and Leah Michelle's character had a thing. And they had like a, a thing. And then moment. there was like a whole thing where he they had a thing in Spring and Awakening. He and and he, the main he, characters. he played her. Like he, they had a thing, but he was just trying to like get her off her A game so that they won the competition. Is, oh. is Spring Awakening? Sorry for spoiling Glee for anyone who hasn't seen. it. <laughs> I haven't seen when it. When is just, spring? You're awakening not gonna watch the whole thing, Audrey. Spring awakening. Because she played um the main gal, and he played the main guy. She's Liz also on did. Broadway in um, right now. Yeah. What's it called? Waitress. Funny girl. She's oh, funny, funny girl. girl. I love Close funny enough. girl. Oh Barbara gosh, Streisand. Michelle, yeah, she oh just her. she just like started uh, the Leah whole Michelle Broadway. And, Jonathan and it's is funny too because in Glee. Rachel yeah. goes on Broadway for Funny Girl, and oh. now in real life, Leah Michelle is on Broadway for Funny Girl, which the, is really that's cool. So cool. Don't rain on my parade at Macy's. Um, oh my god! I love Don't rain on my parade. But I love that song too. Oh, I did that in my I did that in my voice class a couple oh, years I ago. I love that one. So Spring fun. Awakening opened December tenth, two thousand six, and Glee first aired May nineteenth, two thousand nine. Therefore, they had been working together for like three. Well, years they're best friends. Time. Yeah, but that just blows my mind. Yeah, that's true. Connections. You'd kind of think they would, like, maybe they, they probably auditioned for Glee together. They were probably maybe. like, this is cool. Or they could have been sought out for Glee that's off true. Broadway. That's yeah. true. singing show. But we had something we want to talk about next. Oh, yeah. Name vibes. Name vibes. So wheel has been spun. Boom. Oh. Name vibes. What? 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 Name oh, vibes. God. Name vibes. Okay, any name vibes you got, Holly? Like what? Are, <laughs> like they're like what are green flag names and what are red flags names? Like that's what oh. that means. Unless I feel like red name. flag names is just like anything that rhymes with like Brad, Kyle, <laughs> Brad, <laughs> Chad, <laughs> Torin. If your name is Mark and you are under the age of twenty, change it. But if your name is Mark and you're over the age of thirty, I will accept it. And if you're <laughs> twenty to thirty and you're a Mark. Um, count your days. <laughs> <laughs> uncle Mark, you hear that? You're safe. Don't you? <laughs> I do have Uncle Mark. Oh, you have Uncle Mark. Oh, He's probably not funny. listening, though. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to send him this episode. <laughs> J names are, like, automatically a red flag unless they're, like, lengthened. Oh, so You know, like... Jonathan? Like, Jonathan is Jonathan. cool, but John is not. Yeah. <laughs> John's and, like, plain. Like, <laughs> John like, is boring. John. Like, Jake... But Jacob is okay. Oh, I think Jacob is actually worse that's than true. Jake. Jacob is kind of bad. Joshua. I also have an uncle Jake. Josh. He's safe too. <laughs> you know, uncle Jake, don't worry. <laughs> They're too old to fall into the red flag. <laughs> <laughs> They're grown men. Um, and just the name Karen. Name if R you're Junior. Name R Junior. Red flag right there. No. Lucas is gonna watch this episode. Yeah, actually, now that I said that, I... We Lucas is gonna watch this episode. Neymar. <laughs> Speaking of which, the FIFA's going on. That's a tangent. No, that's that's too that's long. Too that's long too of long. That's too long. We'll talk about Neymar Jr. Sabato if you're now. under 40 and your name is Karen, um, I think you have to rethink your entire life. I Change have it. a question. What so is your question? There's this TikTok mother. I don't yeah. know if you guys have seen her, but her daughter, she's two daughters, and they're like under the age of five, both of them. Yeah. And their names are Stevie and... Oh, Frankie! Yeah. Stevie and Frankie, and I love them! Do you them. guys think those are cute names or not? Because no, I think those I are think adorable names I like names them, too. Girls, but names. some people think that they're both No, them. I love them, too. I think they're cute names. They're, yeah. they're short and, like, Fra- Frankie's name is, like... Is it, It's not Francesca, is it? I don't no, know. No, because they're... I'm pretty sure it's, like, a... Slavic name. Oh, okay. They have, like... Their, lo- their lengthened names are, like, ones that... 
I don't know how to pronounce them. Yeah. But they have them, like, shortened yeah. so that it's easier. But those kids are I the cutest they, kids yeah. ever. I love them and so I think much. those names are adorable. Like, they, they are, are really fun. cute. Yeah. I like, like them. I feel like there's not that much bullying if you already have put your children on the internet. They are so No, everybody lo- everybody loves Stevie and Frankie. Some everybody. people don't like their names. Okay. I know everybody loves those little girls. Everybody cause loves adorable. them because they're but, yeah. perfect. Um, our friend Ashley, who was a live studio audience member the other day, wants to name her kid Moss. We're gonna have and her Roots Beetle. This one. Yeah, Roots Beetle <laughs> and Moss. Those I feel like those names. nature names. There's like a certain the there's crunchy a, names. There's the crunchy names. There's like a certain line that shouldn't be crossed. I think Roots. <laughs> Is a uh, what was it? Hold on, I think moss. Can I think be moss cute. is fine. I know I people name moss. Yeah. moss can be. Yeah, no, that's fine. Name. But roots beetle. I mean, I, it was my idea. I planted that idea in her head. So technically, that's that my is fault. your fault. That is my Audrey. fault. I planted that. But idea I think in her that head. one crosses the line. Yeah, roots beetle. And like dirt. Last name. <laughs> dirt. <laughs> dirt. This is my stock. kid. <laughs> dirt. Linen. <laughs> <laughs> Ocean breeze. <laughs> Environmentally friendly wipes. <laughs> <laughs> Biodegradable. <laughs> Bio for short. <laughs> That's actually really compost. Funny. <laughs> that is N- no shoes, no shirt, no service. <laughs> <laughs> that is a long name. <laughs> is that just the so is that just the first name and then they have a last That's name or is that the first, first name, middle, middle and middle. last? First name, middle, middle. Last name, whatever your last name is. Yeah. Okay. Insert last name here. Okay. Hopefully it's also Jordan. crunchy. Yeah. Like. Just the word crunchy. Like, oh yeah, crunchy. <laughs> crunchy. Just crunchy. I'm no gonna... no shoes, no shirt, no service, crunchy. 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 <laughs> Actually, this is another thing on names. I have a friend back home who planned to name all of her children the same name. It was going to be like Emily something and then the last name. All of them have five of them. And hope that one of them could fall through the cracks and not have a social security number <laughs> and just live, like, off the grid and just, like, not technically exist. And I think that is a very funny idea. <laughs> but then all of your kids have the same name. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a bit... Uh, it's a bit of a give and take. If you if you really want that, I mean, go yeah. for it. But that's I definitely a, a sacrifice yeah. you have to make. I had a friend, um, and she had cousins, and her... Oh, <laughs> Her aunts and uncle named her their kids, so her cousins. Mm-hmm. Um, they had three kids, a boy, a girl, and a boy. They named them Tom, Anne, and Jerry. So all together oh was Tom and gosh. Jerry. That's actually funny. <laughs> so their names were Tom and Jerry. That's funny. My, I had a great That's aunt. lucky that, like, yeah. they got in that and order And they were, like, really well. into that show, too, so the parents, like, named Tom, oh Anne, and gosh. Jerry. That's so funny. My great aunt and uncle um, were... Peter and Lois. Oh, long oh. before Family Guy was even a thing. That's they got so married. funny. And I was like, "That what are the odds?" Yeah, like uh, Peter and Lois. So. They really just named the characters after them. Legit, <laughs> straight up. They were the they were the inspiration. They, were the blueprint. <laughs> <laughs> they set the stage. Ah, uh, well, Holly. Yeah. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Have a holly jolly Christmas, but. Our time here is so XO. Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl. <laughs> the Gossip Girl Christmas episodes are really good. I haven't even seen Gossip Girl. I'm not going to lie to you. Me neither. I neither neither are. Me neither. I just know the Christmas episodes are good. Do you guys remember the Gossip Girl meme where it was like the bathroom room? Go Piss Girl. Oh, mm-hmm. you Go Piss Girl. You air drop. That's what we want. all the time. That I that love. So funny. I love. Go Piss Girl. Go Piss Girl. I think it's, I've never seen the show, but every time I see that, it cracks me up. <laughs> every time someone says, I have to go to the washroom, we have to say, Go, go Piss, piss girl. girl. I say it all the time, or I just go, straight up go Gossip Girl and just hope that someone in the room gets it. Yeah. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't, and no one knows that I'm the funniest person to ever exist. <laughs> <laughs> well, Holly. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, you're not allowed to spin the wheel That's for the okay. next guest, because the next guest is... Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. You guys already said it. Tyler! <laughs> That's right. Tune in next week for my little brother. He's coming. Very special guest. He's flying um, all the way to the University of University just for the podcast. <laughs> Definitely not for any other reasons. He's a, he's a flying guest. If you want to be a flying guest, call 1 800 437 672. That is a long number. Yeah, it's not. I 
was saying numbers. But you can okay. DM you can DM the yeah. Instagram. DM and then if you yeah. can afford to fly yourself. Yeah, yeah we're not saying Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't make that kind of They money. don't have the funding for that. <laughs> we don't have a sponsor. Someone please sponsor we, us. Yeah. Please. I feel like you guys need a sponsor. Best fiends, maybe? World of Warcraft? <laughs> Grammarly? Grammarly? Maybe a little Hello Fresh. Audible. Audible. Audible because it's an it's an audio oh, podcast. That's true. You can start putting your podcast on Audible. Oh. We are not affiliated with any of these companies, <laughs> no. might I say, so that just, we don't get sued. This is a, true. Let's get a Toyota sponsorship. They're just they're just hoping. They're just hoping <laughs> for the we're best. Just planting some seeds. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Holly, anything exactly. else you want the anyway, world to know? tell the people? Um, no, I don't think. No, no. Oh well, well like um, I don't know. What would I say? This is oh, this is this is. We your forgot episode. to do the song for the wheel spinning. Oh, again. <laughs> we forget every week. We have a special song and we forget to do it. I don't even time. think I know what the song the is because I haven't heard. Wheel. Oh right, and then we played like song. two episodes that we can't right. forget. Right. Yeah. Anyways, Holly, round of applause to you. Podcast style round. Yeah, it's a Thank podcast you. style round of applause. Thank you so much it. for coming Thank on you, the Holly. podcast today. Thank you. We, I hope you had me. a good time. I did. Um, we hope to see you again. Yeah, we do hope to see you again. We're going to recycle guests one day. Yeah. Okay. Right now we one still day. have a bit of a list to crack yeah. into. But yeah. um, stay tuned for the season closer because maybe she'll be back Ooh. soon. Who's to say? Who's to say? Ooh, a <laughs> little bit of intrigue. Season closer? Who knows? Maybe she'll be back.